I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. If America palm is us, how will palm is them? Bringing us over here to this devilish men. We was raped of our culture, knowledge itself. Now we live like vultures of crime when wealth do anything for a buck. That is the mind state. And most of us that got us dead a lot behind gates. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me right. Salute to every single one of the subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with the latest content, by the way. And shout out to my guy Showtime SP. So I got a couple things I'm gonna talk about in this blog. It's gonna it's gonna go from a few different subjects, but uh, I wanted to start with a rest in peace to Zayad um, Zayad Fitness. I am Zayad Fit. Uh, Briz Rothstein's homeboy, aka the dude with the orange shirt from you know, most notably people knew him in battle rap from when the Murderland Dark Life unfortunate brawl happened. He was the one that was putting on for the team, and um, he was from. Wilmington, Delaware, and um, he was trying to, you know, make some changes in his life. From what I read, he had did a 10-year bid, and he came out, he was on his fitness shit, he was really going hard with the fitness life, and uh, his daughter had posted on Instagram. I actually don't live too far, about an hour or so away from where this all happened. He was shot and killed in Wilmington, Delaware. Um, a lot of people don't know, like, that's what Tinker Demon, you know what I'm saying, got his name, and Briz Rothstein, too. And a lot of people don't know that Wilmington, Delaware is very, very dangerous like they they be wilding out there especially in the summertime unfortunate situation he was shot and killed uh 37 years old you know what i mean and he um, from what i read he had did a 10-year bid he came out and he was trying to make some positive changes in his life but um his life was unfortunately cut short by um gun violence so you know hopefully uh briz rostin and, and you know all of his family daughter and kids that he may have are doing as best as they could during this time so rest in peace to him Next, Sue Surf. Sue Surf. Uh, yeah. Is you ready? Is you ready? Is you ready? Is you is or is you ain't? Because uh, from from what I see, you know, you've been doing the social media campaign. You know, you've been talking on Twitter. You've been talking on Instagram. All while Lux has been quiet. You know, but Lux don't really Lux don't really promote. We all know that for a fact. But uh, Sue Surf had put out this funny clip of. Uh, a loaded Lux third round. I don't know who made the clip, and he laughed and said, "Nah, who made this? Oh man!" And people. The police station. I never heard of it. Why you don't pull up on the passenger side of the police car and bust on the police instead of your brother? I've never heard of it. You say you're a gangster. You say you got your gat. You say rat a tat tat tat. You just kill yourself. Because you're really not a gangster. You're not a gangster. You're a punk. East Coast, West Coast. Come, you don't have no drive by at the police. So it, it was it was definitely a funny clip, you know what I'm saying, to poke fun at Loaded Lux and the style, you know what I'm saying, um, of what kind of content he may bring, you know. Um, but Loaded Lux is, if you a lot of y'all don't know, you know, we could take you back a little bit. Loaded Lux was one of the ones that gave Sue Surf that cosign, you know what I'm saying? The cosign kind of like opened the door, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, major drought took you in through the paper route. I brought you in now, I gotta take you out okay okay yeah 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 your man's new to cans blue you made an album called make sure you kill me well handsome <laughs> i already planned to loaded lux is gonna is, is <laughs> i'm telling you sir i really 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 hope that you know what you're getting into um because you got lux for three rounds small room controlled environment it's not gonna be a lot of people in there I know we're used to gnomes where you got big crowds, big stages, a lot of people, but this will probably be the most different. I'm thinking closer to volume, closer to our volume, which is a good thing. Um, 
for 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 the for the artist because it's like now we get to actually hear the bars, you know what I'm saying? Like who's going to prevail with the bars? Straight up nothing else. Who 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 who's going who's pen? Who's going to be able to pull something out that's going to make you be like, "Yo, who going to have the moments?" And in this environment and setting, I was going back and forth with my brother earlier. He was hitting me up talking about he got served 2-1. He was asking me why I got Lux. I just said, you know, I, from what I seen in the big stage joint with the two on two, him in that gray hoodie going, there once was a man preaching, then in his, oh my God. He said, Wolf, they want him in a gray like Liam Neeson. Like that was a, a real, real crazy moment to see Lux back in that bag. Now you got him for three rounds, no big crowd. This is his environment. Did you do you think he wouldn't do you think he wouldn't kill niggas in like a regular volume? Like, do, did y'all I know y'all I'm trying. I, I'm trying to, to to keep my composure, but it's like we're moving closer and closer to the closure, you know what I'm saying? And, and for some nigga and you know what? For Sue Surf, I will say this. If he can make this battle debatable or win, or even make it debatable, he won. Because he's not supposed to beat Loaded Lux. Sue Surf is only known for having two rounds. Sue Surf is not, he's not supposed to beat Loaded Lux. We know this, right? We, we do know this. You guys do know this, right? Okay, I'm just making sure. You know, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. So, I mean... If all of these antics and the things that he's doing to promote and now these little video clips and shit like that is all part of what he has planned. Because if he breaks, like if Sue Surf really attacks Loaded Lux and takes a round, like the first round or something like that, he could really make it interesting. But the thing is, Sue Surf has to have three rounds. Like he cannot come in there playing with no fucking round and a half or two round Sue shit. Like it's not going to work. It's just, it's... This is loaded. Love. This is beloved. We're talking about here. This is where legacies are made. Your legacy can be carved in this situation. Like your legacy, and I know for some, for maybe a serve, he may be like, you know what? He don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? People gonna always love him. They're gonna book him. They're gonna keep him in that high acclaim. But everybody knows, you don't get a battle with Sue Surf every day. I mean, loaded Lux. You don't get a battle with loaded Lux every day. That shit don't just come along. You got to work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to be put in that position. You got to be put in that position, big baby. And you know, see, the thing is, Surf, Luxby, he, he definitely goes off on tangents sometimes, especially when he be talking in interviews. You know what I'm saying? He be like, you know, the, the, the energy ain't there yet. The time's not right. You know what I mean? So when the sun meets with the moon at the right time, the equilibrium can form, and those two forms of energy can combust, and that can make us get to this clash. But guess what? One day it's going to have to happen. You know what I'm saying? We two omnipotent beings that are moving in a forceful direction. So and you be after a while, you watch him speak for a You're like, what the fuck? What is Lux talking about? But Lux is known to make big moments, viral moments. He gonna get this work. He gonna get this work. You act, I'm telling you, this is what you came for. So, um, Surf, it's a, it's a good clip. Nice gesture, you know what I'm saying? Lux do be talking about that type of shit. Pity Pat, not, not Pity Pat, really rap, but you know, you not no gangster. You know what I'm saying? You not no gangster. I thought it was uh, pretty, pretty witty and pretty cunning to uh, come up with that play because it definitely was, um, it was it was a good play on words. But is you ready though? Is you, cause I know a lot of people who are really, really riding with this serve shit. Like, yo, he's he's not losing to him. And I believe he's ready. I mean, I would only hope so. I would only hope so. I don't think you would get this far to get to the, to the, to the main man, the one who brought you in to let him take you out. You want him to take you out? You not about to let him take you out. Nah, 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 nah. No. I don't think so. I, I really don't think so. But uh, I definitely appreciate this happening because battle rap could have just been shut down. You know what I'm saying? Like they could have just been like, "Fuck it, ain't no battle rap. We can't get no crowds in here. You know, shit, shit's not going right right now." You know what I'm saying? So you gotta salute URL for even putting this, putting Gnome together because a lot of leagues ain't really doing nothing right now. And you don't, I can't really blame them because it's like. What can they do? You can't put 300 people in the building. You can't even put 100 people in the building right now because coronavirus is still real. 
You know what I'm saying? Like a lot, I see a lot of people out there just because the outside is opening up again. People's like, I'm outside, I'm outside. And it's like, man, listen, you go outside if you want to. Don't let going outside be the reason you get put inside. Inside what? Inside a casket, bastard. Um, I just wanted to touch on something else before we get up out of here. Uh, Don Marino has been recovering from um, COVID. Uh, he did take to Twitter to let people know, you know what I'm saying, that he's been doing a little bit better. You know what I mean? That he's uh, he's got to take another test. Um, I'm, trying, I'm about to pull up the tweet right now. Uh, he said, and I quote, Thank y'all for y'all prayers. I was going through hell feeling depressed, but today I feel way better. I could eat, move without coughing. I could breathe much better now. Thursday, I'm going to take the test again. Stay quarantined till I get the results. I will not be taking no battles for the rest of the year. The thought of putting my family and friends and other battlers at risk got me feeling terrible, and I need to move better than that. Love y'all. Stay safe, please. You know, my man Don Marino, Mexican boss. He was taking Mexican battles. This nigga was battling every motherfucking week. I was like, God damn, nigga, you need to sit down somewhere. And uh, he got, he sat down. COVID sat him down. Um, I would suggest you listen to what you say and not take no battles until, until there's a suitable solution. You know what I'm saying? Because you on planes, you or if you're driving in cars, you're going long distances, you're going to gas stations, rest stops. I was at a Royal Farms earlier picking up something, and it's like people in the gas station with no mask on, and it's just like, I mean, I had my shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's people in the gas station with no mask on, and it's just, like some people have total disregard for other people's safety and other people's health. They'll know they have it, and they still go outside, like fucking, I'm out here, whatever. So, y'all make sure that y'all be cognizant and aware of uh of what's going on out here, you know what I'm saying? Um other than that, man, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying, going on as far as like with the battle rap shit right now. You got a lot of battlers taking shots at each other, you got media going back and forth with each other. I don't really get involved with a lot of that shit. I just do what I do, or me and my man Showtime SP. We appreciate the people who do peep this content. I don't care if I'm low tier, mid tier, high tier, vet tier, as long as them checks clear, I'm gonna be doing the same motherfucking thing next year. You dig? Other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all out there. Um, appreciate y'all peeping this content. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the ones that actually watch this shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and keep it moving. But uh, I'm definitely interested in Sue Surf versus Loaded Lux. Um, and I'm definitely interested in Tay Rock versus Daylight. That's another battle that I'm really, really, really interested in because Daylight was definitely talking some shit on Twitter the other day about the, the you know, not having no crowd reaction and things like that or not having no big crowds. And I think that that's going to really, 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 really come down to uh, who, who, who's, who's taking that battle, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, salute to y'all niggas. You already know what it's doing, what it does. If America palms us, our palms them. Bringing us over here to this devilish men. We was raped of our culture, knowledge itself. Now we live like vultures of crime when wealth do anything for a buck. That is the mind state. And most of us, the God is dead a lot behind gates. For most of us, the only way was to grind, wait in tune with the true and living. Now we taught the fine faith. In religion, church showed the pastor's words. Catch a king's force to call his master, yes, sir. Harmonious human beings couldn't foresee the massacre. Kidnapped from their motherland, beaten if they look back.